It's me, Renee. I'm back. My hair's a bit messy. Eh, I don't care. But today, it's Valentine's. As well as, like, there's a myriad of videos I can do today. I've already done some Valentine's themed things. I have anticipated romance that I've already posted last week. And also, this is my third year on Booktube, so I've already done some of these videos before. Like, yeah, a lot of these videos. I'm also pretty sure I've actually done this one before. But you know what? I mean, it's kind of fun to repeat videos now and then. And uh, this one, I'm kind of doing a bit of a mix. And uh, yeah, uh, so you already know what this is if you're seeing the title. But yeah, when people ask me, are you single? I could say yes. Truth is yes. I suppose that's also the glass half empty way of saying it. But I could say, well, no. I have, like, a thousand book boyfriends, so, yeah, today, we're gonna meet my book boyfriends. And, uh, yeah, I've, I'm pretty sure, as I said, I'm pretty sure I've done a video like this before, but it's been a while, and I will do a new one. Uh, so this video will include both book boyfriends from newer books, but also from older books, and, uh, yeah, let's... Get to the fun boogie boogie. Okay. Let's get to the lovely, nice gentleman. First, we have an oldie, but not a baddie, an oldie and goodie, Jesse De Silva from the Mediator. One of my all time and one of my longest all time favorite book boyfriends. He's so dreamy, though. Yeah, uh, if you exclude the adult book, because in that one it's just weird. So I'm count I'm just counting the original series here. Uh, yeah, in it he's amazing. He's so lovely. He's protective, but not stupid. He's modern and he's Hispanic. I mean, it's also always cool with a with a boyfriend who can different languages. That's quite fun. Though, as well, I shouldn't really talk about. Loving people who love different languages because I speak different languages as well. So, well, I suppose it's kind of a common trope that if you love different, if you know speak different languages, it's often a thing that people enjoy and speak different significant others. So I don't know why I'm single when I know three languages. Well, two and a half. Spanish? Do I know it? Tal vez un poco. Depende cómo hablas. I don't see. Uh, yeah, Jesse, he's, yeah, he's just amazing. And, uh, yeah, also a little, uh, a little information, um, in case anyone else, uh, loves this series, as well as you might, because you're on my channel, though this is a bit of an older series, so maybe not, but if you do, um, you might have heard of that this is becoming a Netflix movie series. It's a movie series, it's not a TV series, it's going to be a, like a franchise on Netflix. Make like, Habit said recently that they keep on working and it's going forward, but you can't say more details. So, I need details! But yeah, it's happening. It's the working on at the moment. And also Netflix just released news on the movies that are coming up with this year, so it looks like it's not coming up this year because then we would have some pictures for it, wouldn't we? Or like we would have something from it. I don't think it's probably coming up next year, but yeah. Well, guess what is over? And then we have a newer one, which I just kind of have to check them all the moment. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, Alexander in this book, he is, yeah, he, he's Australian, he is from Adelaide. So he has an accent, and yeah, I mean, everyone's a sucker for accents, aren't they? And also, yeah, he all around is kind of an interesting, cool fellow. I mean, did I pick this kind of randomly-ish because it was a new read? Do I remember that much from it? No. I remember it being very good, and I very much enjoyed the love story in this one, which, yeah. So, Alexander, from this book. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sometimes I, oh, I mean, when I don't prepare my video so much, and like, when I have so many books, and I've read, I've read all my life, and 
Yeah, I mean, I can't fix her perspective to know, remember all of the details, all the books. I suppose I could, but I'm, I'm, I'm a book lover, but I'm not a pro- book professional. Well, yes, I work in a bookstore. But I'm like, I, I don't work for a publisher, I don't work for a library, so it's not my specific job to know. Uh, and even people who work in libraries and publishing, I don't really think people expect them to know everything about all the books that ever read. Remember, remember everything? I don't think so. But yeah, and then we have uh, Old Moon, which is from Valkyrie Rising. This is an amazing standalone. It came out in 2012. You know that year that every book came out. It's kind of like a famous, I would say, famous-ish uh, year for why books. But yeah, this is standalone, and as you can imagine, it's based around Norse myths or uh, the Valkyries. So the main character. Oh, it's blah, 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 blah. Ellie is the son of a Valkyrie. So, yeah, that's quite cool. It takes place in, well, it takes place outside of Bergen in Norway. So, yeah, love it. And, uh, yeah, it's just a very, very good read. Though, yeah, I read it years ago. Haven't reread it in a while. There's so many books I want to reread. But anyway, I, lo- I remember loving, loving this, um, uh, what I, what I love interest and this love story. And this is a mm, best friend of brother love story. Is that a word? Uh, brother's best friend troop. Yeah, well, I think it's so long. Brother's best friend. Best friend and sibling. But I believe that's a troop. Is that what it's called? Anyway, you understand what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, it's a great read all in all. And uh, yeah, also tuck in it. He's great. Then we have a book. Um, this one, I just read this. And so it's a newer book, but a character has been in other books. So I suppose it's both an old and a new uh, book. Anyway, it is Gideon from this universe, which is the Graceling universe. So Gideon, he, he's in Graceling, but also in Battle of but also in Bitter Blue and in this book. And yeah, in this book, spoiler alert, oh, it's not spoiler alert. In this book, he is the love interest. Like in other books, he has been kind of a, a character that's around. It's not that prominent, but in this book, he's the love interest. And yeah, I mean, he's so protective, but it's also so, he's so, he is so full of heart. And I don't know, I just, I love him. I love him so much, Gideon. Well, it's actually written G-I-D-D-O-N, so maybe it's more pronounced Gideon? Gideon? That sounds weird. You would think it would be pronounced Gideon, with an E. Anyway, you know, you understand what I'm talking about. So yeah, that person. Yeah. Also, there's a fifth book coming next, well, sorry, next year, in November, in the series, which, yeah, can't wait. And then we have a definite older one. This is not a, a new release or anything like that. It's well, anything like that. It, well, what is a new release? What is an old release? Like, until I started working books, I felt both like newer books were like around the late last five years. And then starting books, I was like, well, no, if it's older than one year, it's old. Which. So it seems a bit weird, but that's how the system is. Anyway, uh, so this isn't... I still wouldn't call it an old book. But it's not the newest. It's a book in the middle. <laughs> this, well, it came out 10 years ago. Sorry, 11 years ago. Yeah, 11 years ago. 2011. It is Invisibility. So Steven in this uh, book, which is that guy. <clears throat> He's just amazing. He's so in this book the the dual protagonist, so it's both Stephen but also Elizabeth. They're, it's told from multiple point of view and switches between them the two. They start as neighbors, become friends, then they become lovers, and then become friends and then lovers again. So it's it kind of yeah, it's not a huge book, but yeah, a lot happens in it and it's just amazing and Stephen in it he is <sighs> Yes, my heart. I mean, he goes through a lot, a lot. 
but he's also such a lovely, wonderful person, and also, I'm thinking hot, I suppose we don't know, I suppose, no, we, well, yeah, Elizabeth, he's definitely not hot, as hot, and he's tallish, and, uh, yeah, check out this book, and that kind of thing. And then we have a new one again, we have, give me one moment, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is not so bad. Okay, I'm just gonna check something. And then you can just be where you are. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so Avery from Margaret Merch takes it down. He is, yeah, a great character. He is, so far actually in this book, he's actually not a love interest. Well, they don't become lovers. Sounds a bit weird talking about why is there lovers? Lovers seem so physical. Okay, they don't become a couple in this series, but it's kind of on well, the series in this book. But it's kind of hinted at it. And um yeah, Avery in this book is quite the boy. He uh, has a good heart. He uh is not toxic at all. He is cute and uh yeah, Avery in this book. It's just And then we have a Nick or Lion Boy from the Geek Girl series. So yeah, well, this is the third book, but yeah, this it's a series of six books. And Nick, he's not in all the books, no, but the books he uh, is in, it's just it's so richer for having Nick in them. And uh, yeah, I mean he's Australian, so we have that. You have that uh, accent thingy. He has a heart of gold. He he loves his family. He uh, he can see several parts of the story. He's not superficial. He yeah. Honestly, yeah. Nick. <sighs> Nick, maybe Nick is my very favorite. Maybe one of them. I would say one of them. Yeah, he's definitely high up there. Him and Jesse is up there on the favorite favorite lists. And yeah. I suppose you might ask yourself also, like, well, which book are you going to read today? Like, do you have reading Valentine's Day plans? Um, I do, but I kind of, I don't know, I kind of want one of those moods where I kind of I want to read everything. So I'm thinking I might, like, read oh, one page in this book and one page in this book and then read lots of different books. I might do that. So that I, yeah, get lots of different books. But, yeah, other than that... I don't know, I just want to read good books, <laughs> good books, don't we all? And, um, yeah, I hope you like this video, and if you want to talk about book preference that you have, please talk to me in the comments. And, uh, yeah, of course, uh, this is going to be obvious, but yeah, of course, I recommend all these books highly. And, uh, yeah, bye.